from another group of young guys who are still learning the system. I think uh, we've got some old experienced guys like Jalen and Joey coming in that you know have been, been through some college systems before and know how to kind of intermingle, you know, with the defensive tendencies and stuff like that. So I think, you know, there's always a challenge of bringing a lot of new guys in. Uh, but I think the young guys and the new transfers have done a really good job of you know, trying to soak up as much information from the coaches and the players as possible. And I think um, the Europe trip really helped us um, move along and get past uh, some of the early bar barriers. You announced you were coming back for Juju. You mentioned the word legacy. I'm just curious how much that motivates you, how much you think about that being in college for 30 years. Yeah, um, you know, when, you're, when we work out in Chrysler, I always see you know, the jerseys that are up there. And so that's obviously motivation for me. It's something that um, I've thought of, especially coming back for the third year. And that legacy part is something that I would definitely like to accomplish. And my time is done at the University of Michigan, and hopefully, it's something that I'm able to achieve. How have you grown as a vocal leader? Uh, over my years at Michigan, I've tried to become more vocal. I think my freshman year, I was in the role of, you know, following the footsteps of the older guys and the guys that were here before me. Um, I was blessed to have a team of great leaders and just. A really experienced team to kind of guide me along and help me out. Guys like uh, Eli, Mike, Isaiah, Shandi, Austin, um, guys that came here before me and just tried to give me all their knowledge. And um, I think I took a lot from that. And last year, um, Eli was obviously the leader of the team. Um, I didn't think I did a good enough job helping him out, but I think this year, um, I feel like now that it's my turn to try to lead the younger guys, um, I think I've tried to do a good job of just talking up as much as I can and trying to be that vocal leader that Coach Howard wants me to be. How did you guys this year? What, uh, what are your first impressions of that group coming in? Um, I think you know, every new group that we've had since I've been here has been really antsy to get out there and work out and work really hard and stuff like that. But I think this year, this group has really surprised, um, I think, the coaching staff with you know, how well they've played. Um, I think each one of them brings a unique, unique skill set, and I think they're all able to help us contribute this year. So the manager will be able to contribute to our success. We've got uh, individuals. Anybody in this Terrence Williams, he's got to leave early. Talk about your jump shot, your outfit shoulder. Is there an area of your game you've worked on individually? Kind of like skill that you're focused on last year. There's a lot of talk about your outfit shoulder, your jump shot. Is there something you can focus on this offseason more than ever? Yeah, I think uh, the biggest thing for me is just um, my motor. Playing hard all the time. I think that's something that... I really try to work on, especially in practice um, in the beginning of the season. And so it's something that I really look to uh, try to continue and try to implement in the uh, season this year. Is that conditioning or mentality? Uh, I'd say both, but more on mentality. I think my mentality's changed a lot this year. It's gotten a lot better, uh, especially since high school. But even from freshman year when I was coming in as a freshman, I think my mentality's changed a lot. And I think um, I'm starting to adapt and take uh, those bits and pieces that Coach Howard is um, always doing in the You mentioned feeling like maybe you could have helped Eli last year as a team leader. What kind of led you to that realization? Because there was so much on Eli. Um, I mean, I could. I could see it throughout the season how much uh, I'd, not stress, but how much um, was asked of us. And I think, you know, I, I just didn't embrace the role as much as I should have. Uh, uh, something that I regret, but now that it's my turn, I'm trying to take, you know, the, the reins, I'd say, and trying to make the best of that, make the most of um, the opportunity. And, I guess what the coach staff has bestowed upon me. Coach Howard mentioned a bit ago that he felt like your willingness to kind of take on that persona of the villain or you know the guy that the other team 
you know, really is paying attention to actually is in some ways a way of maybe taking some pressure off of, off of your team. Do, do you think about it like at that level? Is there some strategy to it or is it just kind of being you? Yeah, without a doubt. Um, I know me personally, I'm able to play, um, you know, regardless of the situation, I 